but it's the episode where Ryan said, comparison is the thief of joy. John Peters Wolfhall says, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, doing good things every single day that will make you better than what you were yesterday. So it's comparing yourself to yourself. So I want you to take this lesson away with you. Making sure people feel heard, making sure that they feel like a human being and that you want the best for them. You've really gone for a load of crap. Inspiration Nation, hello. How is everybody this mo- today? This morning, I was going to say, what is going on? Just wanted to let you know that Lee and Ryan are here on my own. So I'm not, I'm not doing the, uh, the little six-minute pitch that we come back next week. I am just trying to go live with TikTok. And essentially, I am here with you and with you, lovely TikTok, to give you an episode of the podcast on my own. Can you believe it? I haven't done this for ages. Um, and I do miss Ryan and Lee. You know, add so much flavour to the podcast, but the show must go on. So thank you, J J I N N one one three three, for joining. I appreciate you, really, really appreciate you. And thank you again for joining and listening in. Let me give you the preamble. As Lee always says, you can catch us at Listen to I N. That's on Twitter. Listen to I N. Just go on there, tweet. You can also catch on Instagram as well. Listen to I N. Go over there, do that. You can. Follow me, Jose No Inspiration Nation, across Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Oh, YouTube's Inspiration, Jose No Inspiration Nation. Just whack that in, you'll find it. I've now put up a link tree now, not quite on TikTok, so not letting me actually um, put, put a link on there yet, but I will update TikTok when it allows me. But if not, just go to uh, just go to Instagram, link, link tree on there, or go to inspirationnation.org.uk, send us a newsletter, search to the podcast, download the podcast, There's loads and loads of content that we've released, over three and a half years of content, so go dive into that. We've been getting lots of downloads. It's been fantastic. Thank you for TikTok for doing that. Thank you for you guys for listening and watching and keep downloading and keep sharing the message because this is what it's all about. So this week, what we're talking about this week, this week we are talking about what Ryan talked about. If you go back into the archives, I can't remember. I can't remember what episode it was. Now, Ryan, Ryan, and Ryan and Lee here, they're not here to, to, to dig into, you said they have a little dig about, but it's the episode where Ryan said, comparison is the thief of joy. Comparison is the thief of joy. And I want to dig into that a little bit. What do you think, TikTok? You asked me a question. And you guys, you're listening, downloading this. This is something that I have just been recently reading. Um, I'm reading um, Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life. I'm just saying you guys and TikTok, and if you're on YouTube, you can watch this in full Technicolor. Is that an old term? Old term? I don't know. Um, but it's in the rules, and I'm going to tell you what rule it is. It is rule. It is rule. I'll write it down. It is rule four, I think, from memory. Rule four. And yeah, rule four. And rule, rule four, John Peters' rule four says, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. So comparison actually is good, but just don't compare yourself to other people. Compare yourself to what you were like yesterday. And that's what Jordan Peterson talks about. Um, And I want to read you an excerpt from his book um, because I think this is really profound. And I think all of us suffer with this. We all do it. Um, So let me just take that. And I'm just going to read it out because I think it's really important that we understand what it means to compare ourselves because we have to be strict with ourselves. We have to live our best lives we can. Um, and we just need to make sure that we're on the path, right? On the path. We need to make sure we're on the path to self-improvement. This is what this whole podcast is about. We know Inspiration Nation inspire you to action, inspire to make your life better. And in this podcast, we talk about things, the small things, the everyday things, not the climb 50,000 feet mountains. It's about doing good things every single day that will make you better than where you were yesterday. And I love this because it actually speaks to what we do here on the podcast. And as I say, Lee and Ryan would back me up here um, you know, we're doing this. So what we're going to do, I'm going to read you this. And I want you to really listen. And I want you to pause. Obviously, TikTok, you can't pause, right? But I want you to, or when you watch this back on TikTok, or, or when you're listening, uh, or if you're watching, I want you to pause after I've read this. And I want you to reflect. And I want you to think about what this can do for you. So here we go. When the internal critic puts you down using such comparisons, here's how it operates. First. It selects, sorry, first it selects a single arbitrary domain of comparison, fame, maybe, or power. Then it acts as if that domain is the only one that is relevant. 
there's any contrast you unfavorable with someone truly stellar within that domain it can take that final it can take that final step even further using the unbridgeable gap between you and its target of comparison as evidence for the fundamental injustice of life that way your motivation to do anything at all can be mostly effectively undermined those who accept such an approach to self relation certainly can't be accused of making things too easy for themselves but it's just a big problem to make things too difficult so that's really important isn't it if we look at that your brain is trying to pick, compare to someone who's amazing. It's not about that. You don't see their journey, right? You don't see their journey. You just see, whether it's Instagram or TikTok, you just see their success. You don't see the hardships. And let's be honest, you've gone through hardships. If you're watching this right now, I've gone through hardships. You know, if you go back into the podcast episodes, you'll hear the part. You'll hear, you will hear the difficulty that we've got to this point of the podcast. So compare yourself to where yesterday. If we go pair back to where the first episode of the podcast over three and a half years ago, compared to now, it's massively improved. So it's comparing yourself to yourself. So I want you to take this lesson away with you. Pause the video. And what can you do now? The question I'm going to ask you, what can you do? Just a small thing you could do today that's going to make you better than yesterday. Don't repeat that. What can you do today that can make you better than yesterday. Let me tell you what I tend to do. So if I do something, and it could be anything as simple as unloading dishwasher, but when I unload that dishwasher, it's gonna be the best dish, uh, dish <laughs> the best way I unload dishwasher. I'm putting all my effort into it to make sure that it's great. If I'm doing this right now, I'm making sure that I'm delivering as much energy to you to inspire you to do something, to take some action, because I want this to be the better episode than I did last week. Right? I'll, I'll come coming across better than last week. That's what I want. That's what I want for you. That's what I want for me. That's what I want for Lee, for Ryan when they turn up. I want that to be for you. So it's about the small things. So I want you to look at what you did yesterday. What did you do yesterday? What can you improve? What can you improve? What did I do yesterday? I've had some conversations. I probably could have listened better. You know, so when I'm talking to you, can I listen better? Can I respond better? Can I really listen to someone? That's probably... That's where I need to put more work in. I still believe that listening is one of the most important skills you will ever, ever, ever know. Some people think, some people just think that listening is easy. It's not. It's the hardest thing you'll ever do. You know, so thank you for that. I really appreciate you, uh, Mr. Stoker or Stoker, for the, the whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it's lovely. You've sent me a little gift. Thank you for that. But listening is so important. How many times have you guys gone down to the pub or a local thing or asked a friend and said, hey, it's what I've been up to today. And they go, yeah, I did that. And they go back with their story. They only listen to you. They haven't listened to what you have said. I'll give you a tip. Thank you, Joker. I appreciate you massively for, for coming on and listening. So what I was going to say, have you ever had that? I'm going to give you a little tip, a little listening tip. Now, if, you, if that happens to you where someone just doesn't even listen to you and they're just talking about themselves, be interested in what they have to say. Listen to them. Ask them questions. Because you may not be interested, but you'll make yourself interested by asking questions. You'll be intrigued by their story. You see how I did that? Right? I want you to ask questions. I'm passionate about coaching. If you've listened to my podcast or our podcast, you'll know I love coaching. Coaching is about questions. If you want to get, if you want to get someone excited, ask them questions about what they're doing. How did they get interested in that? If it's someone loving computer games, how did you get interested in that? What happened? What should you be doing now? What's going on? Get to explore. Explore it because you'll become more interested in them because of the person. That's what it's about. Be interested in people. People make the world go round. People make things happen. You, TikTok, you, Spiration Nature Podcast, can make things happen. All your listeners that are telling me, this is what this whole podcast is about. Self-reflection and doing. And that's what I want for you. So what else could you do, right? We've already talked about comparison is deep for joy. So, you know, maybe read a book. I'm reading this book at the moment. It's it's quite tough reading, right? If you're not listening to Jordan Peterson, I recommend go listen to Jordan Peterson. He's a clinical psych psychologist, right? Jordan Peterson, clinical psych psychologist. You got six million on YouTube, I think. Massive. Um, really got a good perspective on life. He talks about how you can improve. You know, taking responsibility for your life because we've all got a life, right? Take responsibility for your life. Don't blame other people. Things might have happened to you, but it's how you respond to things. How do you respond? So that's another thing you can take away from this, right? Comparison, thief of joy. 
can be yourself to yesterday. If someone gave you some bad news, someone challenged you, how did you react? Could you have rea reacted? I would say not reacted. How could you have responded better? Could you respond better with kindness, with understanding, with empathy, making sure people feel heard, making sure that they feel like a human being and that you want the best for them? Because I truly believe that humans are good. Humans are good. The only reason I would say that humans are good is when they prove it to you. Right? There are bad humans, right? but on the whole, they're good. There's people just going through a lot of pain right now. And there's a lot of people going through a lot of pain. You just got to understand that. You've got to understand that. I mean, if you've listened to the podcast, if you if you listen to it, go download the episodes, go download it, because we've had a lot of a lot of negativity. We have. You know, but you've got to go on, right? You've got to go on because where's that negativity coming from? It's coming from their own life. Maybe they've got a really difficult thing going on at the minute. And that's the only way they can let out the pain. Um, just to let you know a bit more, I worked in Samaritans. I've been really trying to improve my own life, try to understand the, hu the human condition more by reading books like this, right? Because humans, we're so complex. You know, you've gone through your life right on TikTok on in on Inspiration Asia podcast. You've gone through, I don't know your life at the minute. You've probably gone through a load of crap. Right? That's the point. Let's listen to each other. Let's just really try and help lift each other up, right? Reach out a hand, build each other up. You know, I want this podcast to inspire you into action, to, to take some thoughts of your life. Yeah, let's be honest. People aren't going to come along and, and, and give you a magic wand that's all going to be good. You've got to put in the work, right? It, your life does not get better, but you just going, oh, I'm just going to let somebody else come. Someone's, no one's coming to save you. I recognise my depression. No one's coming to save me from my depression. I had to do the work. I've been, you know, free depression road 20 odd years now. But it took a lot of work, man. It took a lot of work, people. It took a self-development. I've got so many personal development books, uh, from Andy Robbins to Jordan Peterson to Evan Carmichael. Uh, really inspired to get back on this by Evan Carmichael. I talked to Mark Drager, We Do Hard Things podcast. Go check that out. YouTube, fantastic. In fact, if everything goes well, we're going to get Mark Drager here on the podcast next week. So TikTok, in for a treat. Inspiration Nation, in for a treat. Um, do you know what? Thank you. Thank you, user 9099921. I, I can't remember the number, that number's so long for joining. I really appreciate you for all joining and sending love or likes. Um, what's this? Um, ice cream. Okay, ice cream van. I'm saying ice cream van. I don't know what I'm doing, but I know TikTok's a bit strange sometimes. I've just got to do things. I think we'll clip it, don't they? Do these little videos. But I, you know, I love TikTok, I think it's great. And I, uh, and I love the podcast. So we, we, every time we've got a podcast, we go live on TikTok. So ask me questions, TikTok. Ask questions. Put a question in there, what you want to know. I'm happy to answer any questions. What I'd also say is, you know, what's the question you could ask? What's your favourite river fish and why? I don't... I did used to go fishing, actually. Thank you. Ben Well is my life. Uh, river fish, but I'm going to go for pike. A hunt down. A hunt down. What I'm saying, you hunt down your own life and make it better, right? Go for, go for a pike. Is that, does that answer your question? Go for a pike. Predator, but be the predator of your life. Go hunt down what you want, right? What do you want? Go get it. Put some actions in place. There you go. That's a great link, isn't it, between personal development and fish. Never thought I'd be doing that. But ask me another question. Can't more questions, guys, in the podcast. If you Also, if there's anything that you want um, us to talk about in the podcast, please message us through Instagram. Jose Noy Inspiration Nation, find me anywhere. Type in Jose Noy Inspiration Nation. You will, you will find, you will find me, okay? Message. Join the newsletter. You also got my link tree. You will find the newsletter. And can you hear that in the background? That's my daughter shouting. This is proper live podcasting, guys. It's proper live podcasting. I like Pike. Yeah, Pike. Hard to catch. Pike. Um, so... Any questions, please fire off. So just to go back to this, we are talking about comparison. Do you compare yourself to other people? Do not do that. Do not do that. Please do not do that because they have gone through difficult Like, If I'm playing basketball, I'm not going to compare myself to Michael Jordan, right? Because Michael Jordan has been through the path himself, right? He's been through the path himself. He's become amazing. He's become like truly an amazing basketball player. You know, if I pick up basketball tomorrow, it's, it's, it's crazy for me to, to compare myself to him. So it's all about the small, small things. Thank you, CXBFN, for, for joining. Thanks for ghosting, 3-4. Thank you for not checking. 
Jordan, thanks for Jane for joining. Brilliant. A lot of people jumping in and out. But what's the important is your journey. Yes, you can look at other people, learn compare yourself, but maybe you can take lessons. So someone who inspires me is Elon Musk at the moment, bought Twitter. Who knows? He might buy TikTok next. Who knows? I don't know. He inspires me. But there's certain things I might not want to adopt of his. I love his work ethic. I love what he's doing for humanity. But there's certain things I might not want to adopt of his, right? Um, you know, I've heard that maybe he doesn't treat people so well sometimes. I'm not saying that. I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, but if that's the case, I want to treat people well, right? But he's super successful. But I love that. I love his determination. He wants to, he wants to put life on another planet. How inspiring is that? So what can I take from that? If I compare myself to Elon Musk, I'm nowhere near that. I, I can't buy Twitter tomorrow. Right? But what, I can be inspired by the amount of how he uses his time, right? Think about his, his short young life. I don't know how old how old's Elon Musk. I don't know how old he is. Is he, is he late 40s, something like that? You know, think about what he's done in 40 years. That is incredibly amazing. Like PayPal, uh, Boring Company, uh, SpaceX. Uh, what was the other one he's got? SpaceX. What's the other one? Come on, guys. What's the other one? SpaceX and... SpaceX is the other major one. Tesla, of course. Love a Tesla. I love a Tesla. Um, think about that. Those guys, he's running them. Um, super inspiring guy. He wants to keep the humanity, the, the light, he calls it, he wants to keep the light of consciousness alive because he's very worried about the earth getting hit by something or us buying ourselves a nuclear war or something like that. But what I'm saying to you, he's successful. And comparing ourselves, not with the person, but taking taking what they're doing well and giving it to us and then comparing ourselves maybe for the person yesterday and say, can I put a little bit of that in my life? Great, do that. So that's good to have people you look up to, but don't compare yourself, right? Look up to them, don't compare yourself. Just take the good from them and put it into your own life somehow. So the other thing that Jordan talks about, going back to the book, Jordan Peterson, give me a little big plug here. I am not on commission, I promise you, I am not on commission for the book, um, is he talks about um, improving your life bit by bit every day. So what, do you, like I said to you about listening to people, what is it, you know, bit by bit every day, how can you improve your life a little bit every day? Uh, so one of the things I have to do is I never used to make my bed in the morning. So when me and my wife get out of bed, my wife goes earlier, I will always make the bed. I always make the bed, make sure I make the bed and I make it to the best of my ability. Why do I do that? You ask, why do I do that? I hear you cry. The reason I do that, it's like a major, Sergeant Major did it. He, he said that once I start with that, I know I've made my bed and I've done it. And it's the first success, the first goal you've set yourself that you've hit. Now, that's momentum, my friends. Momentum is so important. So if you start being successful at the little small things, think about if you made an improvement every single day for the rest of your life. Think about it from now, say, say a year from now, 365 days, so it's one, so one, one um, improvement a day. You think that's 365 improvements. Amazing. If you added those percent, so say each of those actions add up to 1%, that's 365% improvement over one year. So that is the key. He talks about setting small achievable goals. That's what you need to do. Set small, nothing that's so crazy, like people might set a weight loss, I want to lose two stone in, in a month or something crazy. No, start small. Start like I'm gonna I'm going aim for maybe I'm aim for, for a pound this week, right? And if you get the pound, great, boom, do the pound. I might you might want to start running. Don't start running, try and run a marathon. Just go for a, a quick walk. What I tend to do it's one thing I've added into my routine. Every morning I go for a, for a brisk walk, right? I go for, I have been running before, fell out of routine with it, but I'm going for brisk walk, brisk walks, walks now, and I've been mindful about what I'm doing, being in the moment. These are improves that I'm making in my own life. I want you to follow suit, but being mindful. Go back on the podcast that Lee's talking about being mindful. You know, when you go for a walk, there's so much stuff, honestly, that you can do. So feel free to really, you know, really come on, come on. What, what improves are you going to put in your life? Tell me, put one action in the video, in the TikTok right now, on the podcast comments. What action are you going to do today? that's going to make you better than what you were yesterday. So maybe that should be, what do you think, guys? Should this podcast be, I was going to say, the podcast that was going to be Comparison of Thief of Joy. What do you say, TikTok? What do you say, guys? Do you think it should be that? Or do you think, I'm thinking, maybe the, the podcast title should be something like, be better than you were yesterday. What do you think? Be better. Maybe be better. That could be a good one. What do you think, TikTok? Come on, tell me. I'm, I'm doing a TikTok inspiration nation podcast because we're live on TikTok every day. We're a bit late this week because usually we join on a 
Tuesday or Wednesday, but we've been been a few issues. But we also get we always get a podcast out every week for you to be improved. And we do this for nothing. Would you believe this? We're doing this for nothing, right? Oh, lovely. Someone thinks I'm fit. Fantastic. Thank you, Vesox. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think I think I've had never been called fit before. Um, I usually get, get the other end of the coin where, where I get negativity. Um, who said I look like I look like someone who does look I look like a guy from um, I don't know if anyone knows um, Grand Designs. I don't know the guy who like, someone who look like that. Um, so um, thank you for that. I'm taking it as a compliment. Thanks. Appreciate that. So there you go. This is the world of social media, but this is for you, TikTok. It's for you, especially. So I want you to do it. So I want you to follow this. Now, to be better than yesterday, whatever we're going to call this podcast, whether it's comparison to thief of joy, be better than yesterday, be a better version than you than you were yesterday, be a better human than you were yesterday, right? Because it's about improvement, right? What is the point of life if you're not getting better, right? I say to myself, when I was getting depressed, I had no meaning, no purpose. Get purpose and meaning in your life. And one of them could be to be better than we were yesterday. Just say, hey, life is always something about a challenge. How can we be better? Because let's be honest, you know, we're here to learn, right? here to learn as humans on this planet we're here to learn from the experiences of our life and sometimes they're horrible sometimes it's great isn't it sometimes you get some great stuff that goes on and we should enjoy that but sometimes a real change come on we've got to face it it's a human condition in fact peter peter gets right john peterson talks about that suffering is actually part of the human condition it's actually you can't avoid suffering it's going to happen even if you decided to just do nothing the suffering but you're not doing anything so you can't get away from it you might try to because sometimes, oh, I'm not going to bother with doing that. If you don't be bothered with it, what else are you going to do? So, another thing's quite good. Lee was Lee on the podcast was talking about had a big pile of paper. And he was talking about, oh, he had it on his desk. I don't know how many episodes it was. But what he just started doing, he started doing little things. Take a little bit of that paper. Do, do five minutes of the paper. Just attack the paper at a paper. And actually, Jordan Peterson talks about his book about, if I've got a pile of paper, I want to put it away, like do the filing. Um, just little bits by little bit. Five minutes, look at that bit of paper. And then by the end of it, you know, do five minutes a day. By the end of the week, you've done like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. By the two weeks, you've done even an hour. So, you know, that's where you go. So, uh, you know, you've got to do those sorts of things. So thank you. I appreciate all the comments. Um, fantastic. Look at this. 54 likes. I think it's the highest of a hand. Thanks. Thanks, TikTok. I appreciate the love. Um, so look at this. This is great. I, I, do you know what? I don't think I've had that many likes before. So this is a new one for me. Um, so thank you very much. I say this podcast is designed for you to, and we have, you know, we have fun, right? I have fun with the podcast. I want, to have, I want you to have fun in your life. I want you to have, I want you to have a balance. Thanks for the love. Thank you so much for the look at those hearts. I really do appreciate you. Thanks, Skits. I appreciate it. I like the I like the little joke on the chat as well. So thank you for that. Really do appreciate it. Because let's be honest, we all want to help each other, right? I, I do believe that. I do believe it. We have to be helping each other, pulling each other up. Sometimes we've had an absolute, I'm going to swear now, I don't usually swear, a shit day. Lisa and Dry are going to be so surprised. But how on earth can we make it a better day today? Because you are going to have shit days, let's be honest. Right? Everyone has shit days. But don't take it out on other people. Don't take it out on other people. Have a shit day. What, what went wrong? What can you do? If you, you know, the other thing I talk about, you can only focus on what you can control, right? Don't feel as you can't control because like, that will make you frustrated. That might make you feel like you've got a shit day. You can't focus on things you can't control. Like, you know, you can't control, I don't know, how your beloved behaves or your partner or your children behave. All you can do is respond to it, right? You can control how you behave. So behave in a way that serves you, that makes you better, that makes you a better, better, better human. I don't know where are the hashtag iron watches. I'm not sure what you mean by that. What do you mean? Watches as in... The merchandise because you've got the, the hoodies. Um, you can go to storiespressionation.org.uk. That's where you can find all the merchandise. I haven't got my mug today, but I have got. And, uh, to, and in England, I mean, I don't know where you're watching from, but in England we have, we have, we we, we don't have to wear masks anymore. But we've got the podcast mask. Well, I still wear it. Um, I wear it because I want to wear it sometimes. So I'll wear it around. I definitely wear this. This is the 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 uh, what you call it. The hoodie, we've got t-shirts, all sorts of stuff. So go grab some. So I'm mucking up the uh, the merchandise promotion a little bit there, but that's the whole point. Because Lee's not here. Lee's usually the one that runs all these bits. But I want to make sure that I answer your questions, and I'm sure that's the hashtag Iron Watches. They will come later, maybe perhaps. Uh, well, you know, maybe that's another brand. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. You made me laugh about that. I'm not going to read that out. I, you can read that on TikTok. I'm not reading it out for the, I'm not going to put that on the podcast. But that's so funny. Thank you for that. 
Uh, but you have to, if you want to see some of these comments, you need to get on TikTok when we go live. And we go live from about 5 30 uh, every day. We're probably a bit later, actually, to be fair, because uh, I have my own day job. I do this as on the side because I do it for pure, like, I want to give back to humanity. I do this because I want to give back to humanity. I do it purely just so I can lift someone up. And make some people make, make someone laugh. Maybe you have some laughs, right? We have some laughs together, right? That's laughs. Yeah? That's some laughs. Like, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, NDI games, it's so funny. Oh, you made me laugh. Anyway, um, so we had some laughs, haven't we? Uh, oh, we have some laughs as well with uh, Ryan and Lee. We have, it's, it's great. We have a good old, good old discussion. But let's go back to what this whole bit of podcast was about, wasn't it? This whole podcast was about being better than we were yesterday. Don't comparison to Steve Joyce that we start with. And we ended up with Jordan Peterson's fourth rule. So if you want to get the book, go get it. It's really good. 12 Rules for Life. Um, and it's called An Antidote to Chaos, and it's page 89, if I feel right, 85, and I'm going to read it out again, because I think it's really important. This is such an important rule for life, and I think he hits it on the head. He's a clinical, social, he's a clinical psychologist. Uh, he actually, at Harvard, he taught at Harvard, super amazing guy. This is what he says, rule four. Now, take this in. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday not to who someone else is today. Fantastic. We don't know what journey people are on. So your journey, your homework, this is your homework. One thing that you're going to improve, small goals, right? So you can do one, one thing you can do better than you did yesterday. That's your goal. I set some tasks within there. So what's your goal? One thing better. Set that all. Set a goal for yourself that's really achievable, that you can build momentum and build lots of things into your life, right? Because I want you to have a superb, amazing life. That's what I want you to do, right? I want you to have an amazing life. That's what we do this podcast for. That's what we've been going three and a half years. That's what we do the YouTube videos. That's what we do the Instagram. That's what we do the Twitter. So Twitter, uh, we do Facebook as well. I am Jose Noya. You'll find me there. Um, all over the, over the place. All over the place. I think someone sent me something. Roses, thank you so much. Uh, I never had any roses before. I'm getting so much love here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Dacu, Did I say that right? Dacu voice? Thank you very much. I appreciate you very, very much, um, because you sent me roses, and I've never been given roses before uh, on TikTok. Um, it's been brilliant. brilliant. Um, honestly, I've been getting gifts and likes and love and, oh, 321 likes. I mean, this is incredible. I mean, I mean honestly, um, thank you guys for that. I really appreciate it. And I know guys listening to this, um, we are, I'm on the fly really today. I, you know, I want to jump in without the guys, but should, what we do in the podcast is that we'll throw a topic out. And again, I'm just going to repeat, if you've got a topic you want us to talk about, send it to us. You might email us, send it on Instagram, send a message on TikTok, and we will then put it in a, in a bowl and we will choose one of those. So please keep tuning in so we might choose your topic to talk about. And that will be something you might be facing, a challenge you're facing, and we'll get our perspective on it. We'll do a bit of coaching around it. Um, this coaching is my passion. Coaching is our really superpower where you can get to where you want to be. It will take effort. It won't come like the secret where you go, I want to I want to be a millionaire and all I can do is think about it's going to come to me. No, you need to take action. You cannot get anywhere without taking action, that is the issue, okay? Right, is it time to sign off? I think Lee and Ryan were saying it's time to sign off. Do you think I should sign off right now? I think maybe I should. Um, I've really enjoyed this, by the way. I've enjoyed it. I really miss Ryan and Lee, but I have enjoyed this. You guys on TikTok give me a lot of energy. I appreciate all the love, all the roses, all the things that you give me up. The likes at three, two, one, I think it's one of the highest I've ever had. It's wonderful. Um, I can't ask for more than that, can I? So thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, Andalea. Uh, I really appreciate it. I hope I said Andale, and and uh, yeah, I think I said that right. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you all for downloading. Please keep downloading. Please give five star reviews on the podcast. If you're on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. Share on TikTok. Please share a lot. Just like and share and comment because the more you do that, the more it goes. The algorithm will just send it out to more people. I want more people to come on these lives. I want more people to listen to the podcast on the YouTube because I'm on a mission to inspire the entire planet. You could, I can do this with your your help. I just need you. I need your help. I can't do it alone. So myself, Ryan Lee, we need your help. Right? We want to inspire the world. And it all starts with this podcast and this TikTok and your action. So let's go. So I'm going to sign off. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Keep sharing. Keep inspiring. Keep commenting. Keep liking. Keep Keep serving the algorithm gods so we can get ourselves out there 
keep tapping us into your Google machine because the more you search us, the more you like us, the more you share us, the bigger we'll get and the more we can put out there to inspire the planet. And that's what we want to do. We want to do like the Elon Musk in the, in the personal development space. Let's do that. Let's make it this massive so we can do it. And you, you people on TikTok and you people downloading, you are the first people that are on at ground zero, ground the, the ground floor. So you can say, we listened to that. Three and a half years ago, we downloaded that. And you could be some of the people, first people to say that. And you can have that forever. You can take that with you for the rest of your life. How amazing is that? So without further ado, I appreciate all the comments, all the love, all the likes, all the roses. Because I love the roses. Um, I appreciate you. Have an amazing, amazing evening and amazing wherever you are look after yourselves look after each other and i'll see you next time so this is inspiration nation and i'll catch you guys later so i want to know now what's your biggest takeaway don't forget to hashtag it with inspiration nation in the comments below and make sure you commit to action thank you for checking it out so you can catch all our other inspiration nation podcast episodes right over here so go check them out. And also, don't forget to subscribe because that will tell you when your next video goes live by you hitting that amazing bell. So until next time, it's Inspiration Nation, and I'll see you right over there.